The terrestrial ecosystems of the Bahamas is home to a rich diversity of wildlife. From our extraordinary coppice forests to our wondrous pinelands and wetlands. What's even more special is that many of our amazing species are found nowhere else in the world. From our tiniest insects to our largest iguanas, the terrestrial fauna gives people a unique glimpse into the animal world of our islands. So come along with us and explore the terrestrial side of this absolutely amazing archipelago and learn more about our wild Bahamas. The terms endemic, native, and indigenous are all popular words that empowers and gives us a sense of appreciation and pride for things that belong only to us. Naturally, it stimulates a want to conserve and preserve what makes our islands so unique and Bahamian. Often, Bahamians use the phrase indigenous interchangeably to describe plants and animals that are found here, whether native or endemic. In an effort to better explain these terms, I will use these examples. A native animal is one that is naturally found in two or more geographic locations. For example, this red-legged thrush is a native or indigenous species to a number of West Indian islands, the Bahamas, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Dominica, and Hispaniola. An endemic species, however, is found in only one geographic region. So again, using the red-legged thrush as an example, while this bird may be native to several islands in the West Indies, it is endemic to the West Indian region. The Bahamas is home to six endemic birds. These include two species of woodstar hummingbirds, the Bahama woodstar and the Inagua woodstar. The Bahama woodstar is found throughout the entire archipelago and is our most widely distributed endemic bird. Up next, the Bahama oriole. This bird is found only on Andros and is perhaps the most critically endangered oriole in the West Indies. The Bahama swallow, also an endangered species, is another spectacular bird found on the islands of Abaco, Andros, and Grand Bahama. Some other beautiful endemic birds include the Bahama warbler, found also on Grand Bahama and Abaco, and the Bahama yellowthroat, found on Andros, Exuma, Eleuthera, Cat Island, and again, Apico and Grand Bahama. Sadly, arthropods are some of the most mis- and poorly understood group of organisms. Perhaps it's because of the creepy, out-of-this-world image they have that tends to frighten us or even gross us out from time to time. But these beautiful creepy crawlers are all born and bred Bahamians too. They make up the largest group of animals in the Bahamas, with at least 29 endemic species. Some include the Bahamian cicada, what we like to call singers, because of the loud shrilly noise they make. Another one is the Bahamian tarantula, the largest spider in the Bahamas. We also have a Bahamian species of stick insect, as well as two species of endemic cockroaches. I know, right? Who would have thought we had our very own special kind of cockroaches? The Bahamas is home to 39 species of native terrestrial reptiles, and of these, 25 species are endemic to our islands. 14 species of endemic lizards call Bahamas their only home. One of them is the green anole, a species that likes to forage in the tops of trees. We also have five native species of dwarf geckos, the smallest lizards in the Bahamas. Of these, three of them are endemic, such as the Inagosferum. We also have two species of endemic rock iguanas, the northern Bahama species, Cyclora cyclora, and the San Salvador species, Cyclora rileyi. We have 11 species of endemic Bahamian snakes, four of which are Bahamian boas, and they include 
the Central Bahama Boa, the Abuka Boa, the Crooked Island Boa, and the recently discovered Silver Boa. The Bahamian Racer is another endemic snake. It is a fast-moving and active predator and is our only venomous snake. Now, hold on, don't get scared. The venom is only strong enough to kill lizards, frogs, birds, mice, and other snakes. It is not dangerous to humans. We also have three endemic species of blind snake and a species of thread snake found only on San Salvador. There are two species of pygmy or dwarf boars, one found only on the island of Gridinagua and the other found on the islands of the Great Bahama Bank. The Bahamas have three species of frogs, of which two are native and one is endemic. The Bahama flathead frog is a species of greenhouse frog that is one of the largest terrestrial vertebrate genus in the world. The Bahamas is home to only two types of native terrestrial mammals, bats and hutias. Thirteen species of bats can be found, of which three of them are an endemic subspecies. Raccoons are another mammalian species found in the Bahamas, particularly on New Providence, Grand Bahama and Eleuthera. But contrary to popular belief, the raccoon is not native to the Bahamas. In fact, the species was introduced to New Providence in the 1700s and on Grand Bahama in the 1930s. The Bahamas is home to a wide variety of endemic animals, and who knows how many more are out there waiting to be discovered. Some endemic subspecies, like the Bahama parrot, have shown morphological, genetic, and behavioral differences that warrant them becoming a whole new species, rather than remaining a subspecies of the Cuban parrot. In addition, our own banana quit is also a candidate for species elevation. It'll be exciting to see what future research into Bahamian wildlife will reveal. And with technological advancements, what new and surprising endemic discoveries are on the horizon. But until then, let's continue to protect and conserve our native and endemic wildlife and appreciate all that is ours. <laughs>